some of you might be experiencing a problem that is your processor is not working at its maximum speed or it is stuck at the speed of 0.79 gigahertz or 0.8 gigahertz like uh, what is happening the same thing that is happening for me uh, if you go to tax manager and click on performance uh, you can see how slow it is it is at 0.8 gigahertz so for this uh, you might not be uh, at the correct power plan so right click on the battery icon in your tax bar and click on power plan and then choose the correct power plan from here so you will be able to see a power saver balanced and a high performance uh, choose high performance if you want to keep the processor at its maximum speed and if you know all these things and if you know that it's not working then you can skip to the next part of the video uh, i have timestamps in this video so uh, now if you don't want to change to high performance and you want to tweak with the settings in balanced then you can click on change plan settings and then choose change advanced power settings then go to processor power management minimum processor state set it to 5% and for maximum processor state set it to 100% in both the cases sorry yeah to 100 percent in both the cases so in this mode what will happen your processor will be able to speed up to its maximum speed uh to its maximum speed in gigahertz now choose this one as active in both the cases the what will happen is that uh, in active when it is selected as active then the processor speed will not be slowed down but the fan will be switched on first so definitely it will speed up your system now this doesn't work for everyone right and as you can see for my case i've selected high perform mode and still my performance is uh, if we go to the performance tab it is 0 0.8 gigahertz uh, for fixing that if it doesn't work then we need to get third party software that is known as that is known as throttle stop so uh, go to microsoft edge or the browser that you use and then there you need to type throttle stop in the search bar and remember the brand or whatever the group or whatever whoever they are making they call them themselves or themselves as tech power you can even see that download from their official website that is the tech power up and click on the result okay my internet is not slow but my computer is slow that's why the page is taking too long to load There will be a lot of frame drops in this uh, thing and the, FP, F, uh, the FPS won't be high because uh, as, you can, as you had seen the processor speed was at 800 megahertz. So choose the latest version and click on downloads. Don't go for the beta versions it won't be uh, since you're tweaking with the cpu itself i don't think it would be a great idea to go for the beta version now you need to double click on uh, throttle stop uh, uh, whenever you download click on the downloads folder and see i've already downloaded throttle stop here and open this uh, zip file that they will provide you then extract this application that is throttle stop this one just drag and keep it at the desktop or somewhere where you that should work now let's close it i uh, it will uh, open an usc that is a uh, user account control or something yeah asking for the permission that uh, throttle stop would like to change something in the computer hardware the typical permission page that comes up uh, click on yes and then you will be able to see this screen 
okay now you need to deselect this option that is the bd proc hot now bd means bi-directional proc hot now this is a feature of the intel cpu that allows uh, the processor to slow down if your computer has some part like for example your uh, where you're resting a palm that place might become hot might be some uh, instrument inside is going hot and the engineer of your computer has decided to uh, send a signal to the CPU in such a case to cool down the CPU uh, the whole system because obviously you won't like a hot palm resting place right to work with the keyboard uh, so the BD Pro hot gets activated and you will be able to see this thing the BD Pro and then the processor speed would slow down to uh, like 800 megahertz or 700 megahertz uh, 790 megahertz whatever now to fix this you need to disable the bd pro cord now, now disabling B bd pro cord has its own consequences so your computer might just get too much heated up uh, your motherboard might uh, like you might get, be able to get some kind of smell or bad if uh, such things happen to your computer if you feel that your motherboard is getting too much heated up then I won't recommend you to disable the BD Pro Hot. Now whatever you're doing you need to remember that you're doing it responsibly and you're responsible for whatever you are doing and uh, this won't be a good recommendation from my side but I very often disable the BD Pro Hot because whenever if you see such problems happening for example you switch on your laptop and your laptop is completely fine and uh, not hot and still the BD Pro you see it is activated and your computer is throttling at uh, 798.19 megahertz or uh, any other value that is very much 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 lower than the maximum frequency of your CPU then I would recommend you to disable the BD Pro Hot because that is probably a, uh, a damaged sensor in your computer that is sending the signal to your CPU to slow down so for my case I suspect it is the GPU because it is just dead it's gone so whenever I install the I made a video to how to solve that thread stuck in device driver problem um, yeah so i think my damaged gpu is doing that problem so i don't have any problem in disabling the bd pro hot whenever i disable it you can see oh where are they going? the speed shots up to 2095.24 megahertz and if we uh, go to the tax manager go to the performance tab you can see the speed has increased to 2.08 2.09 gigahertz this provides a respectable performance now my laptop is really old a 10 year old laptop running i on i3 2310m and since i have an ssd i don't have any problem like launching applications and everything is just fast and smooth so that is for today thank you